The Allegro consists of quick and lively jumps, building from small, simple steps to large, more complex jumps. Petit Allegro refers to small jumps and connecting steps performed at a rapid tempo, sometimes terre a terre or close to the ground. Grand Allegro is done at more moderate tempo and aims at the greatest possible elevation and suspension in the air. In all Allegro, the dancer aims for the quality of ballon or a smooth, continuous rising and falling motion of the feet. Sauté. A sauté is a jump which starts and finishes in the same position. It may be performed in all positions of the feet. This step may also be termed temps levé. Soubresaut. Soubresaut is a jump starting and finishing in fifth without changing feet and assembling the legs in fifth in the air each time. It may be performed sur place or traveling in any direction. Here it is accompanied by a slight back bend while in the air. Changement de pied. This jump starts and finishes in fifth, changing feet so as to land with the other foot front. Here the legs pass through first position in the air each time. Here the legs are held tightly in fifth in the air and change only on the landing. Petit changements are done close to the floor while grand changements aim toward the greatest elevation possible. Retirer en l'air. This is a jump starting and finishing in fifth, drawing both feet up under the body while in the air. When the legs are changed, this movement is also termed Italian changement. If the legs do not change, it may also be called Grand Soubresaut. Retirer, sauter. This movement is a jump starting and finishing in fifth position, drawing one foot to retirer while in the air, with the other foot extended beneath the body. Échapper, sauter. This consists of a jump from a closed position to an open one with a second jump to close again. Although not shown, échapper, sauter can finish by closing in coup de pied. Here we see petit échapper, sauter, the legs opening directly to second or fourth. In Grand Échappé Sauté, fifth is held in the air, both opening and closing. In second, the step may be performed with beats. Here the legs change and beat once before opening, finishing fifth with the other leg front. This may also be termed royal ouverte. Here the legs open directly to second. On closing, the legs beat once before changing and landing fifth with the other leg front. This variation is termed royal fermé. When the beat is executed both opening and closing, it may be called échappé royal. Here, échappé sauté are performed beating twice. The legs change and beat twice before opening and landing in second, 
in a variation known as Royale Double Ouverte. Here the legs open directly to second, and on closing change and beat twice, the movement being called Royale Double Fermé. In Echappé Royale Double, a double beat is executed both opening and closing. T'enlever. T'enlever is a jump on one foot with the other leg in any desired position. The term t'enlevé is sometimes used to apply to the movements of sauté and sissons simple. Assemblée coupée, assemblée coupée fermée, petite assemblée. Assemblée coupé is a jump from one foot to two feet. Assembling the legs in fifth in the air before landing fifth position demi plié. Assemblée. Starting in fifth with a demi plie, one leg is extended just off the floor and assembled in fifth position in the air before landing fifth in demi plie. De suite, a series of assemblées are done continuously. Soutenu, the knees are stretched and bent after each assemblée. When two assemblées are done with the same leg, the first not changing and the second changing feet, it is termed assemblée double.
En tournant. Here the dancer takes a step to the side as preparation. A complete turn on dedans is made in the air while executing assemblée over. Assemblée is also performed over and under with beats. Here we see assemblée over battu. Assemblée under battu. With a step to the side as preparation, assemblée over battu is done en tournant. Emboîter, sauter, petit jeté. A jump is executed from one foot to the other, coup de pied devant, or coup de pied derrière. It is also done in a small attitude devant, or attitude derrière. En tournant, a series is performed in coup de pied devant, executing a half turn on dedans, followed by a half turn on dehors, along the line of travel. Jeter.
Starting fifth with a demi plie, one leg is extended just off the floor. During the jump, it is cut in under the body, landing in demi plie with the other foot coup de pied. En avant and en arrière may finish in an extended position as well as coup de pied. Jeté over and under may also be performed with beats. En tournant, jeté under is done continuously executing a half turn on des dents, followed by a half turn on dehors along the line of travel. Jeté battement. Starting fifth with a demi plie, one leg extends to second just off the floor. With a small spring, the extended leg is cut in under the body while the other foot executes a double battement frappe with a flexed foot, striking the floor with the ball of the foot on the landing. Jeté fermé. Starting fifth position with a demi plie, one leg does a grand battement carrying the body into the air and traveling in the direction of the raised leg. Both legs are fully extended in the air before landing on the first leg in demi plie. Then the second leg, which is still outstretched, is closed in fifth. Jeté fondu. Starting fifth position with a demi plie, one leg does a grand battement carrying the body into the air and traveling in the direction of the raised leg. Both legs are fully extended in the air before landing on the first leg in demi plie. Then the second leg, which is still outstretched, is closed coup de pied.
grand jeté. En avant. The dancer takes a step forward as preparation into a grand battement front, taking the body forward into the air. The other leg is thrown to the back in arabesque, landing on the front leg in demi-plié. Not shown, the front leg may do a développé instead of a grand battement. Here the back leg is taken to attitude instead of arabesque. Here we see grand jeté en arrière, with a grand battement derrière taking the body back into the air. The other leg is thrown front, landing on the back leg in demi-plié. Coupé, jeté en tournant. This is a compound step starting with a coupé under performed in demi-plié, turning on dedans, followed by a grand jeté en avant, repeated continuously, usually as seen here en manège. Jeté entrelacé, grand jeté en tournant, tour jeté. After a preparatory step in demi-plié, a grand battement front carries the body into the air. As the body makes a half turn, the legs change in the air, landing demi-plié on the leg which did the first battement with the other leg in arabesque. When performed battu, the beat occurs after the turn. The leg which does the first battement beating behind the other leg before the change and landing on the leg which did the first battement.
six sonnes ordinaires, six sonnes simples. This is a jump from two feet to one foot, finishing coup de pied in demi-plié. Six sons simples may be executed en tournant. En dehors, the turn is performed with a six sons simple devant. En dedans, with a six sons simple derrière. Six sons ouvertes. Starting fifth with a demi plié, a jump is performed immediately extending one leg. On landing in demi plié, the working leg remains extended in the air. The whole movement travels away from the extended leg. This may also be performed battu. Here, another dancer performs Sisson ouverte with the working leg executing a développé during the jump. Six sonnes fermées. Starting fifth with a demi plié, a jump is performed extending one leg in the air, landing on the supporting leg in demi plié, and closing the extended leg immediately in fifth. The whole movement travels away from the extended leg. Another term for ces sons fermés is faux entre chaque cinq ramassé.
Here we see another dancer performing Si Son Ferme Battu. Another term for Si Son Ferme Battu is Entrechassinque Ramassé. Si son fondu. Starting fifth with a demi plie, a jump is performed extending one leg in the air, landing on the supporting leg in demi plie, and closing the extended leg immediately in coup de pied. The movement travels away from the extended leg. Si son tombé. Starting with a si son simple, the working foot is extended. Then the toes skim along the floor until the weight is transferred with a tombe movement onto the supporting leg in demi plie. Si son doublé, si son retombé. This is a compound step consisting of a sisson ouvert in second with a coupe through fifth position demi plie into an assemblé. Here the Sisson ouvert is done with a développé. Sisson doublé may also be performed battu, beating both the sisson ouverte as well as the assemblé.
temps du quiz. Starting fifth, one foot is picked up coup de pied and closed fifth position demi plie. Traveling away from the foot which was raised, a small sison ferme is then performed. Here another dancer performs temps de cuisse with a dégagé replacing the movement of the foot to coup de pied. The supporting knee is stretched on each dégagé. Tant de cuisse is also done with a shortened dégagé, the working foot pushing away from the ground until it is stretched just off the floor with the knee bent. Pas de cheval. From Tendu Devant, the working foot is drawn in through fifth to coup de pied and extended with a small développé to point tendu. Here it is repeated with a small hop on the supporting foot each time. Ballonné. Ballonnet is a jump on one leg starting coup de pied and demi plie, stretching the working leg while in the air and returning coup de pied on landing. The jump travels in the direction of the extension. Petit ballonnet is extended at 45 degrees. Grand ballonnet is extended at 90 degrees while in the air, placing the foot just under the knee on landing.
ballonet is also performed battu. This is sometimes called fouetté battu. Ballonnet composé. Ballonnet composé is a compound step. The movement consists of a ballonnet followed by a chasse through fifth into an open position, transferring the weight onto the working leg and closing fifth in demi plie. Alternatively, a step may be taken in place of the chasse. Ballonné à trois temps. A ballonné is done in second finishing coup de pied devant, followed by a chasse through fifth to second finishing point tendu before executing a coupé under. Pas de valse. A pas de valse consists of three steps, of which there are many possible variations. En tournant, a half turn is made with each pas de valse. Balancé. Starting dégagé and demi plié, the weight transfers onto the extended leg, placing the other foot coup de pied. Stepping onto demi or full point and straightening the knee, the other foot is raised just off the floor. The weight is transferred again, lowering back to coup de pied. Here, when the foot in coup de pied steps onto demi or full point, the other foot is also raised coup de pied before lowering. Pas de basque, glissé. En avant, starting croisé with a tendu front on demi plié, an arc is traced to second, turning to face the other corner. The weight is transferred from the supporting leg, which stretches and chasses through first, fifth, and fourth, transferring the weight, finishing tendu derrière and closing fifth. On arrière, the movement is reversed. The ending may be varied by stepping forward into fifth on demi point before lowering. Here the pas de basque concludes with a small assemblée skimming the floor, traveling forward or back.
Pas de basque, sautez. Pas de basque sauté is executed in the same manner as pas de basque glissé, but the first transfer of weight is replaced with a jump. Here the foot is placed just under the supporting knee on the jump before stepping into fourth. Although not shown here, the foot may be taken coup de pied instead of knee height. Grand pas de basque. En avant. The front leg is extended front in demi plie at 45 degrees and open side at hip height. A jump is then performed onto the extended leg. On landing, the other leg passes through retiré passé into a développé front at 90 degrees before stepping forward into tendu derrière and closing. On arrière, the movement is reversed. Alternatively, during the jump, the second leg may be extended side at 90 degrees and carried directly front instead of to the supporting knee. So the Basque.
Starting with a step forward on the diagonal, the back leg does a grand battement front. Jumping off the supporting leg, a turn is executed in the air, landing on the other foot in retiré devant. Although not shown, a smaller grand battement may be done, landing with the foot in coup de pied. Here, the preparatory step is taken to the side and making a half turn on des dents, the grand battement is executed to second, completing the turn as before. After the preparation, we see saut de basque performed with a double turn in the air. Pas de chat? So the shot. Starting fifth with a demi plie, the back foot is raised passe as a jump is performed. The raised leg stretches in the air before landing as the other leg is raised passe, closing fifth front in demi plie. Here, as the jump is performed, the back foot is raised passé. Then the second foot bends immediately to passé so that both feet are drawn up under the body before landing. Here, after the glissade preparation, the pas de chat is executed as in the previous variation, but finishes landing on both feet simultaneously. Here, after the preparation, the first leg is raised passe and extended strongly to second as the second leg raises to passe before landing. Jeté passé, version pas de chat.
From attitude derriere, a jump is performed off the supporting leg. Both legs pass each other in the air, landing with the other leg attitude derriere. The back leg then follows through with a chasse en avant. Gargouillade. This movement is executed similarly to a pas de chat with rond de jambe en l'air. En dehors, starting with the front leg, each leg executes one and a half rond de jambe en l'air en dehors, one after the other, before closing fifth front on demi plie. Here the second leg does rond de jambe en dedans. En dedans. Starting with the back leg, each leg executes one and a half rond de jambe en dedans, one after the other, before closing fifth back in demi plie. Here the second leg does a rond de jambe en dehors. This step is also called rond de jambe en l'air double. Baloté. Jeté baloté. This step consists of a jump bending the knees and drawing the feet up under the body. Landing on the back foot, the other leg is extended front. The movement is then reversed, drawing the feet up under the body, finishing with the other leg extended back. This continues alternating front and back. Here the extended leg is brought in straight under the body while executing a développé with the other foot. Performed with two stretched legs, it is also called jeté bateau. Rond de jambe en l'air sauté. Starting fifth with a demi plié, a jump is performed extending one leg second and executing a rond de jambe en l'air before landing on the supporting leg with the working leg in second. Although not part of this movement, here an assemblé is done to return to fifth. Here we see rond de jambe en l'air sauté performed with a double rond de jambe en l'air, again followed with an assemblé to close. Fouetter, sauter. En dedans, 
Starting with a step forward in demi plie as preparation, a grand battement is performed taking the body into the air. The body turns through second to arabesque before landing. On Dior, the movement is reversed, performing the grand battement derriere and turning the body through second to face the leg before landing. Fouette sauté en dedans may also be done battu. Here the supporting leg beats against the back of the working leg before turning. This may be called cabriole fouette or cabriole en tournant over. Here the supporting leg beats in front of the working leg after the turn. This is also called cabriole italienne or cabriole en tournant under. Here a beat is done both before and after the turn, combining the two previously seen movements. Grand fouetté sauté. Starting croisé, a step forward is taken as preparation, making a quarter turn on Dedan. A grand battement is performed écarté devant, carrying the body into the air. On landing, the working foot brushes through first, making a quarter turn on Dedan into a grand battement devant. Jumping off, the body makes a half turn in the air, finishing attitude or arabesque croisé derrière. En dehors, the movement is reversed, executing the first grand battement écarté derrière and brushing through first into a grand battement derrière. A half turn is made in the air to face the leg, continuing the turn until facing croisé devant. Tournant. 
tant de poissons, pas de poissons, si sonne sous brosseau. Starting fifth position croisé, a jump is performed turning effacé. The legs are held tightly in fifth in the air while arching strongly back before landing in arabesque. Here a chassé is done finishing tendu derrière before closing fifth and starting the next tendu poisson. Although not shown here, on landing the leg raised in arabesque may close immediately in fifth. Temps de flèche, pas de flèche. Here, a step forward in demi plie is taken as preparation. Then, a grand battement devant carries the body into the air, bending the extended leg under the body as the supporting leg does a développé devant. Pas de ciseaux. En avant, starting with a step forward on demi plié, the back leg executes a grand battement devant, carrying the body into the air. The supporting leg is thrown forward, passing the other leg as the extended leg lands. The front leg brushes through first to arabesque, maintaining the demi plié. On arrière, the movement is reversed, executing a grand battement derrière and throwing the supporting leg to the back, passing the other leg as it lands. The back leg then brushes through first to the front in demi-plié. Tour en l'air. En dehors, starting fifth with a demi plié, a jump is performed turning toward the front foot. The legs change in the air, landing fifth with the other foot front as at the start. On dead dawn, the jump is performed turning toward the back foot, changing the legs in the air to land in fifth with the other foot front as at the start. Tour on layer may be executed with two or more turns before landing. Here we see a double tour on layer on Dior. Révoltade.
After the preparation, a grand battement de vent carries the body into the air. Making a half turn towards the working leg, the supporting leg is thrown forward, jumping over the other before landing in arabesque. Here the supporting foot is taken to the knee of the extended leg during the turn. Here, after the preparation, a grand battement de vent carries the body into the air, making a half turn away from the working leg. The supporting leg is thrown to the back, jumping over the other before landing, to complete the turn. Battery is a part of the allegro consisting of all steps in which the legs execute one or more beats in the air. Their brilliance is derived from the opening movement of the legs to the side and the strong crossing of the calves which occurs for each beat. As with all allegro movements, battery may be petite or grande depending on the scale of the step. Changement battu, royal. Starting fifth and demi-plié, a jump is performed. The legs beat once without changing before landing fifth and demi-plié with the other foot front. Entre chat 3. Entre chat 3 is performed like a royale, finishing with one foot coup de pied. Starting fifth and demi plié, a jump is performed. The legs beat once without changing before taking the back foot front to land coup de pied devant. Here the legs beat once without changing, taking the front foot back to land coup de pied derrière. Entre chat 4.
Here we see entre chaque quatre. This movement may be done sur place or traveling. Starting fifth with a demi plie, a jump is performed. The legs change and beat in the air before changing again to land with the same leg front as at the start. Entre chat 5. Entre chat 5 is done like an entre chat 4, finishing with one foot coup de pied. Starting fifth with a demi plie, the legs change and beat in the air before changing again to land coup de pied devant with the same leg front as at the start. In entre chat 5 derriere, the legs change and beat in the air before changing again to land coup de pied derriere. Entre chat 6. In entre chassis, the legs change twice in the air, beating each time before changing again to land with the other foot front as at the start. Brisé. In brisé over, after extending the back leg dégagé second in demi plié, the supporting leg pushes off the ground, beating the back of the extended leg before changing to land fifth with the same leg front as at the start. Brise always travels in the direction of the extended leg. In brise under, the front leg is extended second in demi plie, and the supporting leg beats in front of the extended leg before changing and landing fifth in demi plie with the same leg front as at the start. Although not seen here, Brisé may also be done in a similar manner en avant and en arrière. Brisé volé. The back leg brushes front and pushing off the floor, the supporting leg beats behind the extended leg and passes front while landing on the other leg. On our year, the movement is reversed. Brise volet is performed continuously en avant and en arrière. Although not seen here, a rond de jambe movement may replace the brush through first. Brise volé may also be done landing coup de pied. Assemblée portée et battue. Entre châssis de côté, entre châssis de volée.
After the preparation, the back foot brushes front into an assemblé, beating the supporting leg back in front in the air before changing the legs on landing. Cabriole ouverte. One leg is extended in the air in demi-plié. The supporting leg pushes away from the floor, beating the extended leg from below and sending it higher. The jump lands on the same leg from which it took off. When the extended leg is taken to 45 degrees, it is termed petite cabriole ouverte. When taken to 90 degrees, the movement is called grande cabriole ouverte. Although not seen here, cabriole ouverte may be performed with two or more beats. Cabriole fermé. One leg is extended in the air in demi-plié. The supporting leg pushes away from the floor, beating the extended leg from below, sending it higher. After landing on the leg from which the jump took off, the raised leg closes immediately in fifth. When the extended leg is taken to 45 degrees, it is termed petite cabriole fermé. When taken to 90 degrees, the step is called grande cabriole fermé. After a preparation, we see cabriole fermé executed with a double beat in the air to the front.
After a preparation, we see Cabriole Fermé perform with a double beat to the back. L de pigeon, pistolet. After the preparation, one leg is extended in the air in demi plie. The supporting leg pushes away from the floor, beating the back, then the front of the extended leg. Then the legs change to land on the same leg from which the jump took off. This chapter consists of movements performed on the tips of the toes. Any step done half point at the bar or in the center may be performed on point. In addition, petit allegro such as assemblées, jetés, and changements may be done starting and finishing on point. Movements seen in this chapter may also be done on demi point. Elevé, rise. In a rise, the heels are raised off the floor, going through all the positions of the supporting foot until full point is achieved. The heels are then lowered in the same manner. Although not seen here, this movement may also be done on one foot. Relevé. In relevé, a small spring is made onto point, starting and finishing in demi-plié. In fifth, it is also called temps de coup de pied. Here it is done from two feet to two feet, starting and finishing in the same position. Here on one foot with the other leg, coup de pied. Susu. A susu is a relevé in fifth, which may be done surplus or traveling in any direction. When done surplus, susu is often used as a preparation. Échappé, relevé. Starting in closed position in demi plié, a relevé is performed opening the legs to fourth or second and closing again in demi-plié. Retirez, relevez. Si sonne simple sur la pointe. A relevé is performed from two feet to one foot raising the working foot from fifth to the knee of the supporting leg and closing fifth in demi-plié. Bourré, couru, pas de bourré couru. This movement consists of a series of small steps on point traveling in any direction. Here it is done in a parallel first position traveling forward. Here it is seen in fifth traveling in the direction of the front foot, keeping the feet well crossed. And in fifth en tournant.
pas de bourré changé sur les pointes. This is a series of three steps on point, stepping into fifth back, to the side, and into fifth front, picking up the released foot coup de pied devant each time. Glissade sur les pointes. From fifth, one leg extends dégagé in demi-plié. The extended foot steps onto point, immediately closing the second foot fifth on point before lowering. Jeté sur les pointes. From fifth, one leg extends dégagé in demi-plié and cuts under the body on point, raising the other foot coup de pied. Although not seen here, the first leg may be extended to 45 degrees, taking the other foot to retirer instead of coup de pied. Here in close-up, we see en avant and en arrière. Assemblée soutenue. Assemblée sur les pointes. From fifth, a dégagé is performed in demi-plié. With a slight spring, both legs are assembled in fifth on point and lowered fifth in demi-plié. Si sonne sur les pointes. A releve is performed from two feet to one foot, extending the other leg at 45 or 90 degrees. The step travels strongly away from the raised leg each time. Rond de jambes en l'air, relevé. A relevé is performed from two feet to one foot, extending the working leg to second and executing a rond de jambe before closing fifth in demi-plié. Here a double rond de jambe en l'air is done each time on relevé. Ballonné sur les pointes. This movement starts coup de pied and demi-plié. As the working leg extends to 45 degrees, a relevé is executed on the supporting leg. The supporting leg then lowers demi-plié as the working foot is returned coup de pied. Ballonné sur les pointes may be done sur place or traveling in the direction of the extended leg. Here, the working leg is extended to a height of 90 degrees. Coupé ballonné. Coupé fouetté raccourci. Starting coup de pied and demi-plié, the raised foot steps onto point, cutting the other foot to second. The supporting leg lowers demi-plié, whipping the extended foot coup de pied. Here it is seen executed at 90 degrees.
Here the movement is again executed on tournant, making a half turn with each execution of the step along the line of travel. Emboîté sur les pointes, passe-pied. A series of steps are done continuously on point with a small extension side before closing fifth each time. Polka sur les pointes. Starting fifth on point, a small hop is executed on the back foot, extending the front foot with a petit développé. After taking a small step forward, the back foot closes fifth behind, followed by another step forward on the front foot. Fouetté relevé. En dedans. Starting with a step forward in demi plié, a grand battement devant en relevé is performed. The body then makes a half turn passing through second to arabesque before lowering demi plié. En dehors, a grand battement derrière en relevé is performed and the body makes a half turn through second to face the leg. Grand fouet est relevé en tournant. Starting with a step forward in demi plié, a développé is executed in écarté en relevé while making a quarter turn en dedans. The working foot brushes through first position demi plié into a grand battement devant on a relevé facing the corner. Then the body makes a half turn finishing arabesque or attitude quasi derrière. Here, a grand battement is done in place of the développé to écarté, continuing as before. En dehors, starting with a step back in demi-plié, a développé is executed in second on relevé. The working foot brushes through first position demi plié into a grand battement quasi derrière on relevé. Then the body makes a half turn to face the leg, continuing the turn to finish quasi devant.
Fouetter en tournant. Tour fouetté. From retiré devant, the working leg is extended front in demi-plié. As a relevé is executed, the extended leg is whipped second and to retiré devant while turning on Deor. Here the working leg is extended directly to second and the foot is whipped to the back of the supporting knee and quickly changed front while turning on Deor. Although not seen here, fouetté en tournant may be reversed, turning on dedans. Piqué tour, posé tour. One or more turns may be performed in a series as many times as desired. En dedans, starting tendu front in demi plié, the front leg performs a demi rond de jambe to the side and steps onto point, raising the other leg retiré derrière, making a full turn en dedans. The weight is then lowered onto the back foot in demi plié, extending the other foot front. Here the leg is raised retiré devant during the turn. The raised leg may also be taken coup de pied devant or derrière. On Deor, a step is taken to the side in demi plié. The second leg cuts underneath on point, turning on Deor with the other foot in front of the supporting knee. Here, the second leg brushes forward, stepping into fourth, turning on Deor as before. Here, as the first step is made to the side, the other foot is taken coup de pied derrière before continuing the turn as before. Pas de basque en tournant. Soutenu en tournant.
From tendu devant, a step is made sideways onto the point of the working foot. The other foot closes fifth front, making a full turn toward the back foot and allowing the feet to change. The weight is then lowered onto the back foot in demi-plie, extending the other foot front. Emboîter relevé en tournant. This movement consists of a series of steps to the side on point, making a half turn each time with the other foot placed coup de pied devant. The first half turn is en dedans, followed by a half turn en dehors along the line of travel. Here, the step starts fifth with a demi-plie and does a releve onto the front foot. At the end of every second half turn, the dancer closes the raised leg fifth front in demi-plie. Chaîner, débouler, tour chaîné débouler, petit tour. A series of steps are performed on point in first position, making a half turn on each step along the line of travel. <laughs> 